Parents, what's the most disturbing thing you've overheard another parent say to their children? I was at a friend's house one day. We were working on a project for our economics class. We were taking a break and went to get a drink. He was pouring us some Kool-Aid. He accidentally knocked one of the glasses of the counter. The glass broke. We heard loud footsteps coming towards the kitchen. His adoptive father came barging into the kitchen, fuming mad. My friend tried to apologize and said it was an accident. His dad just starts yelling, calling him all sorts of names. He ends his tirade by saying, this is why your mother got rid of you. You are a expletive disappointment. This kid's mother was a drug addict. She lost custody of her son because she was high on meth driving around with him in the car. I helped him clean up the mess. We went back to his room. He was shaking like a leaf. I tried to cheer him up, but nothing worked. On a more positive note, my dad went and punched the guy in the mouth. About 4 months after the first incident, he called me saying that his dad was yelling and telling him to get out. I told my dad and we went to get him. Guy tried to tell my dad to mind his business and my dad just clocked him. He stayed with us after that. Not my story, but my mother's. My mom worked in the office at an elementary school. There was one mother who constantly mistreated her daughter, including whipping her over the slightest things, blatantly favoring her siblings over her, and making her walk to school in the rain. My mom remembered how she rarely saw the kid being happy. She was a good student, from what my mom remembered, despite the fact her mom was a horrible person. One morning during my mom's parent slash bus drop off duties, she observed the kid's mom dropping her off at school and yelling at her, as usual. Through tears, she asked her mom why she couldn't just go live with her dad. You won't even have to see me anymore. Why can't I stay with daddy? Her answer? Why would he want you? You're a worthless liar. Before slamming the car door and driving off, I still don't understand how that woman never lost custody of her. CPS was called multiple times according to my mom. Nothing ever happened. My mom tried to keep track of the kid, but lost track of her once she got to 8th grade. I worked at a fast food that had a play place. Lots of parents brought their kids there to play. I happened to be the smallest person on the crew, so I was regularly sent in to clean the inside of the play place, especially when kids got sick. One day a mother comes to inform us that her daughter got sick in the play place. I grab my stuff and head in. I'm guessing that the mother thought I couldn't hear her while in the play place. I overheard her tell her, 6 year old daughter that she was the reason that her dad left. That she was such an awful rotten kid and her dad couldn't take it anymore and left. I could hear the little girl crying. I felt so bad for her. I didn't know how to help her. When I came back down from cleaning up the mom made her come apologize to me. I told her it was okay. I told her that it happens all the time. That she shouldn't feel bad about it. I shot a glare over her head to her mother. I guess she realized that I had heard what she said. She left with her daughter in tow pretty quickly afterwards. There are some things you don't say to a child. I have quite a few gyms from my own childhood. Here are some highlights. Hold the dog's leash, or I'll strangle you with it. This was said by my father to me, a 7 year old kid. The dog ran away, because it hated you, and thought you were stupid my dog got out, after he left the back gate open. Stop crying. Why do you have to always make everything about you? Everything is just the worst thing ever, isn't it? Again, my father when I was 8 or 9. You are going to grow up to be a slut, just like your mother I was 13 at the time. I don't even remember what I did. You are a expletive cow. Stop eating so much I was going through puberty which makes you really hungry. I better not find one more drop of blood on your clothes again puberty. Your mother should have just gotten an abortion. That one was said so many times. My mother passed away when I was about 5 years old. She had cancer and it spread way too quickly. I eventually ran away and lived with friends for a while. I ended up staying with a friend permanently after my dad shot himself on my 16th birthday. I'm not sure if he was trying to be spiteful or actually do something nice for me for once. We had neighbors who lived down the street from us. They weren't married, but had been together forever. They had two kids together, two girls. Their oldest daughter was the same age as me, and their younger daughter was the same age as my youngest brother, about 4 years younger than us. 
we lived in kind of a rural area, there weren't a lot of other kids around. So, we all hung out a lot. One day, we were outside goofing off just being kids, and the daughter was wearing shorts. It's hot most of the time, where I grew up, so this was normal. I was wearing shorts too. Well, the dad had a drinking problem, and he stumbles out, drunk, and says to her, Bet you like how those shorts feel. I know they are rubbing against your genitals. He then grabbed her by the shorts, and pulled her off the car she was sitting on. He pulled her shorts up as far as he could, like to the point of showing some of her butt and genitals. We were around 12 years old at the time. She was mortified. He let go of her, and stumbles into the backyard. We just all kind of stood there for a moment. The girl started to cry. I grabbed her hand and we all ran back to my house. My mom asked what was wrong and the girl didn't want to tell her at first. She was so embarrassed. My mom took her into another room, and she told her then. I remember police cars and the neighbor in cuffs. I've heard a lot of messed up stuff working as a cashier. People just seem to think we aren't people that can hear them. The worst thing I ever heard was a grandmother talking to her grandson. They had come through my line and the boy was buying some trading cards. The Cayman? UGR? He was paying for them himself. I could tell he had some sort of developmental disorder by the way he held himself. I had just told him the total, and he was counting out his money. He messed up at some point, and had to start over. He messed up again, and was getting upset about it. I went to tell him it was okay, when the old bat opened her mouth. She snatched the money out of his hand and said, you are a burden to your family. You should have never been born. I was astounded, that this woman had just said that in front of me. The boy folded in on himself. The woman counted out the money, and went to hand it to me. I must have been visibly upset, because she looked very surprised. I just stared at her for a moment hoping to let the embarrassment of her action sink in. I snatched the money out of her hands, and refused to speak to her for the rest of the transaction. I told the boy his change, and counted it back to him. I told him specifically, to have a good day, and to not worry about messing up. I count money all day and still mess up. I found out later she went to my manager and complained. Luckily for me my manager is awesome, and after I explained what happened, he let it go. He even joked, that he was glad I didn't hit the old bat. I worked at a daycare, while I was in college. Parents can be the absolute worst sometimes. The worst thing I ever personally heard, wasn't directed at the child, but said in front of him. The kid was being dropped off by his dad. The dad was almost out the door, when he turned around and said, I'm not coming back for him, I don't want him anymore. I was dumbfounded for a moment. By the time my brain caught up, the guy had peeled out of the parking lot. We called the police and CPS. He stayed with us for the day, but by the end of the day a social worker came to get him. She told us that she had gone to the boy's house to collect his things, but his dad had let the house on fire. She was thankful that we were able to watch him, because she had to go and get him some clothes and a couple toys. It was one of the strangest things I've ever experienced. Thankfully, he got place with a foster mom who used our daycare. He eventually was adopted by a delightful family who brought him by to tell us goodbye. He was happy last heard. We don't need to care about him since he's adopted. I was maybe 10 vacationing with some family friends at a local summer resort. The family was trying forever to have a baby, and after 10 something years decided to adopt a toddler. A year later the woman got pregnant, ended up having two more bio kids, and still loved her adopted still the same. The husband however became indifferent to their adopted and spoiled the bio baby rotten, and took pleasure in making sure the adopted knows this. He made a lot of jokes of returning the kid, since he is not blood related anyways and other comments that were hurtful and out of line. Soon cousins of the kid started to taunt this poor 4 year old who is confused of why he was being teased. Mind you this happened in a one day span too. Mom tried to shield him as much as she can, and the husband made a serious forks pass of making that comment in front of 10 other people from church too. He tried to backpedal fast, but not before my scary mother, the leader of the friend group ripped him a new one. He never joined us anymore in gatherings and eventually the whole family moved to another town months later. As a cashier I heard weird things all day. I keep a note on my phone of the good ones. You cannot keep licking the dog, child name. It doesn't matter if he licks you. You can't lick him. 
No, you can't slap your brother with the frozen pancakes. Ketchup is not juice. Why is there a peanut in your belly button? What do you mean it's stuck? If you do not stop making chicken noises, you will be grounded. Don't lick each other's eyeballs. You'll get an infection. You don't need a Pope Francis bobblehead. No, you cannot sleep with the watermelon, even if you named him Billy. No, you do not need to duct tape your butt. I understand that duct tape fixes everything, but that crack is supposed to be there. Stop trying to eat you sister. No, you will not fart bubbles if you eat soap. These are my top favorites for right now. I was at Target just trying to pick up a few items, when I noticed a child running up and down the aisles. Her mother was calling her name and trying to catch her. Eventually her mom just called out, if you don't stop, I'm going to throw away all your books. The girl stopped immediately and started begging her mom not to throw her books away. It was very strange to hear taking books away as a punishment. I work as a librarian. There was a kid that came into my job a lot. He was about 14. He was there with his mother at least twice a week. She seemed like a nice enough woman, but something about her always felt off. She was constantly checking over his book selection, making him put certain books back. I've overheard some rally strange things from her in the past. I've heard her tell her child that he could look at comic book because it would make him lazy. She's told him that he isn't allowed to use anatomy books by himself because it shows a naked female body. I've heard her say on multiple occasions that he can't even look at the fiction section because the government is using young adult literature to turn the youth gay. She has also told him that if she catches him looking up vaccines again, he was going to be grounded. This poor kid is dealing with the most. I hope he can get more freedom as he gets older. The woman I overheard wasn't a parent yet, but a pregnant woman talking to her stomach. She was telling her child that when they were born, they were going to live like God wanted them to. She sat and listed stuff off like, if the baby was a girl, she wouldn't be allowed to wear pants. No eating meat, no tight clothing, no TV, no internet. The child wouldn't be able to date until they were 18 and moved out. She also said that they had to move out at 18 because they were an adult and adults don't live with their parents. I sat there listening to her for a while, and it was wild. She really had all these strict rules ready for this child that wasn't even born yet. What made me really concerned was her saying that the baby was only allowed to cry when they were hungry or tired. Other than that, no crying was allowed. I was just trying to spend my lunch break in the park. I didn't need to hear this lady's spiel about how she was going to control her kids every move. I overheard a mom going on an absolute tirade at her daughter in a masses once. My daughter and I were shopping for clothes for the new school year. My daughter had gone into the fitting room to try on some of the pants. I'm waiting outside her door because my daughter likes to get my opinion on her clothes sometimes. I hear this mother just tearing into her daughter. She is going off telling this girl that she looks so bad in that color. Why would she even put it on? It's so ugly, it's not even the right size, it's obviously way too tight. I peek around the corner to see what all the fuss is about. This poor 13 year old girl is standing in the doorway of one of the fitting rooms about in tears. She's wearing a dark green sweater. It's really pretty, it looks really good on her. This woman is just going off for no reason. Then she starts in with, try on the clothes I picked out for you. I know what is best. That color looks so ugly on you. I've got some nice purples in there that will look so much better. The girl is crying now and just goes back in and shuts the door. The woman happened to look over at me and had the audacity to mean mug me. My daughter came out and I loudly complimented my daughter. I also took the chance to loudly say that a girl in around the corner found the most beautiful sweater and it looked so good on her and that we should ask where she found it in the store. The woman and her daughter walked out a few minutes after that. The mother looked furious, but the girl looked a little happier. It hurt my heart to hear a mother tear up her daughter's self-esteem like that. Being a teenage girl is rough enough without your mother being a bully too. I was walking around the grocery store trying to pick up some groceries for the week. It was a pretty uneventful trip until this woman comes down the aisle. I'm on. I can tell her daughter is getting restless. I can also tell mom is trying to hurry through the store to get out before the meltdown. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. 
Tears started to fall, and a tantrum was brewing. Her daughter's face was getting red, and you could see her little fists balling up. This was going to be bad. Mom looked over, and got this defeated, look in her eye. She knew it was too late. The girl starts crying in earnest now. Her mother takes a breath and looks at her daughter, and says in the most patient voice I've ever heard. If you keep this up, I'm not making tacos for dinner. The girl just stops. She is looking at her mother, like she isn't sure if her mom will actually do that. I'll make chicken soup instead. The girl takes a breath, and says I want tacos. Then you can't throw a tantrum. I understand that you are tired, and ready to be home, but I'm too- You don't see me screaming do you? No. The woman walked away, and finished her shopping. One of the strangest interactions I've seen. I can't fault the little girl for loving Takis though. I overheard a woman talking about her daughter in front of her, like she wasn't even there. The woman was talking to a friend or something, and they were comparing kids. This woman complains that her daughter is too thin, that she was never going to get boyfriends, because she hadn't developed curves. She also brought up how her daughter was only getting B's and C's in her classes. She was just telling this person all of her daughter's faults, like she wasn't standing right there. The girl didn't even seem like she was there. She looked like her soul had just drifted away from her body and left it there. It was so sad to see this girl like this. Me and my sister were just trying to have lunch together, and we had to listen to this mother rag on this girl right in front of her face. We decided to send her a dessert from a secret admirer. She definitely perked up when the server brought it over and placed it in front of her. The girl happily ate her dessert while her mom was scanning the restaurant for this admirer. I was just happy to see the girl smile a little. I once had the misfortune of overhearing a dad giving his son the talk. I was out at the park having a jog, when I stopped for a rest, and laid down on a large rock. It was nice and cool, and helped cool me back down. As I'm lying there, I hear a man talking. I hear the phrase you're getting older now, and I knew what was happening. I could hear the kid was so uncomfortable. The dad kept going he started talking about safe sex, and how important it is. He verbally described how to effectively put on a condom. He explained that not only do condoms prevent pregnancy they help with the spread of STDs. It was so awkward listening to this man give his son the talk. He kept asking the kid if he understood the kid just made small noises of affirmation. Eventually, he started in on how it's okay to experiment with thing. That he should just look it up first, make sure he knows what he is getting himself into. He was a veritable fountain of information. Then he hit him with the big guns. Even if you find that you like men instead of women, you still need to use condoms. The kid groaned and asked if the talk was over yet. The dad just laughed and said yeah. They walked away, and I was finally able to let out all of the laughs I had been holding in. It was just too much having to hear that awkward conversation from an outsider's point of view. I finished my jog and went home. I immediately called my dad to tell him about the strange encounter I just had. He got a good kick out of it. I hope it never happens again.